Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Inscription. So previously I mentioned in the comments that I would edit down the gameplays to just kind of make the episodes faster, but you guys said not to do that. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to do full gameplay. Uh, so Squirrel Rattler. Uh, I wonder if that's going to do something different because the plant's gone or if it's just going to give me the plant again. But either way, Squirrel Rattler. Okay, um, let's look at the map. Uh, I say we go left. I like totems early. Oh, we still have the plant effect here, though. Um, let's try getting the Kingfisher. The Kingfisher is pretty pretty nice, especially if I can buff it or if I can put its uh, stats on something else. That'd be hype. Yeah, so if I could put Kingfisher on you. Oh, I like that. I accept. I do think that with the talking cards, they've never become an option at the end of the game. Or I don't think they have. Maybe my memory's bad, but um, in terms of creating a card with them, so I should keep that in mind. Salutations. I love you. You're amazing. The stoat is mean, though. Uh, let's play the stoat, though. Uh, okay, so you're going to go give a prong attack, which means I think this would be safest for you for now. Yeah. Although maybe I should have blocked. Um... Now, what I can do is I'm going to big brain it. Let's play a bullfrog here. But then we're going to play a stink bug here because it's going to move. And then it's not going to have an attack. Yeah, so now it does, does no damage. Perfect. All right, we should be able to win. Oh, it's moving again. Stop wiggling. This is going to be overkill, but we want some teeth. Okay. Now I want to get to the final boss. We're doing it. We have the angler fishing cook too, which is really good. Okay, come on. Give, let's choose a good card. Spun off sea. Trojingo or Lewis. So you can search and you also have leader. 1-5, but you're two mana. This is a 3-2 for free that has waterboard and it grows into more power. Yeah, let's get this. Free card. But obviously, come on, my dude. Again, whenever we lose, uh, Top Comet gets to get a, become a card. Woodcarver comes before you. All right, so we can make our squirrels become more powerful after one turn. Okay. Burrow. Uh, let's do more powerful. And then we'll maybe try to get a crow or something like that. All right, let's keep going. Carry on. All right. I like what we've got so far. Let's put you here. And well, that's that. Okay, let's get this. Um, I don't want my stoke to be attacked right now, so I'm just going to throw him here. He'll, he'll get through the boulders slowly. Total misplay. Yeah. I mean, kind of. Not really. Let's draw a regular card. Bullfrog, okay, we'll just do that. Uh oh, that's gonna grow into a more powerful card. Spun off sea, oh no. I cannot play you. Okay, whatever. Should be able to win. You're at 2-4 now? Gross. There we go. Nice. Nice. This is good. Alright, keep going. Rat? Okay. Pronghorn and Rat King. Pronghorn actually looks pretty good here. I'd say let's get that. Um, So we could sacrifice. Yeah, let's do that. Imagine if I give the pronghorn to spun off sea or something. Yeah. So what if I do that? Oh, yes. Spun off sea, you're going to be so strong. Let's go. So he does six damage. Is it directly? He's free also, which is so hype. Yeah. 
So I think it's just a one turn wonder. I think this is a one turn wonder now. So I think I should try to get like remove all the cards in my deck that I don't need at this point. Cause look at this. Now I'm just gonna be one shotting him. Um, okay, so let's go left. Or I could get the totem too, but then we wanna be removing cards, so yeah, left. Because the less cards I have, the higher chance I have of drawing spun off C. The downside is of course boss fights. Boss fights would suck. Can I afford this one? No. Can I afford this one? Okay. Obviously, Titan Pelt isn't great for me, but if I can get a good card with the Pelt, then it's worth it, I think. Or maybe that was just dumb, now that I think about it. Uh, let's get rid of the Bullfrog. What if I put the Bullfrog on... I guess you Stout. That'd actually be pretty good for you. What I would really love to do is get the crow that lets me search for any card in my deck. All right, do I have enough cards to beat the prospector though? I do have the knife, which is good. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Twas the prospector. Okay, here we go. Carry on. Okay, I didn't get my OP card, but I mean, I still have an OP card. So let's place our greater smoke here, and we're going to place our stoat over here. I, I guess either way I can beat the prospector, because if I kill the mule, that's all that matters. Killing the mule is literally all that matters. Because then even if he I lose all my cards, it doesn't matter. So if I could play Spawn Off C now, I'm going to try not to. That way I have him after he turns all my stuff into gold. Use me wisely, I'll try. I don't think the mole used its ability there. It should have, but it didn't. Oh, I guess because it can't block. All right, turn my stuff to gold. Boom. Boom. Boom, we speed running this time. Seven minutes into the recording, we're already gonna beat the prospector. Easy peasy. All right, now we just kind of have to play patiently. Now we just play. Oh, that actually wouldn't be good. Or wait, no, it has waterborne or whatever, so he can't actually kill it. Yeah, so it's fine. But he's not getting his full damage, which kind of sucks. He's still getting a lot of damage. Okay, nice. Clearing some more space for me. Alright, so let's play a stink bug, I suppose. Fracking. That's right. Oh, it's gonna be slow. We should win. It's just gonna be super slow. squirrels oh okay we got the pack wheel that's good you coward it was defenseless i mean i guess oh it's taking so long come on okay <laughs> is that it there we go nice i th i think this is the run spawn off sees op free card that does six damage turn one wait what just happened you see that? That was like a video. A video effect, huh? Perhaps one of these will entice you. That was weird. Long Elk. Amoeba. Mantis God? Okay, I'm going to get the Mantis God. Because if I can put Mantis God on <laughs> Spot Off C. Or even my Wolf. On my Wolf would be safer. Spot Off C would be greedy. You have entered the wetlands. Let's go right again. Let's try to remove a card. I think that's the strat. Uh, let's get bird. Raven egg. Okay, I guess. I was hoping for the bird that lets me search. I don't remember what it's called, but it lets me search for a card. Okay, mantis god? Uh-oh. I mean... Ah, oh, these stupid pelts. Never buying pelts again. <laughs> Unless it's a bad run. I think that's only when pelts are good, is when it's a bad run. 
I guess on you. It get, that's three damage. It's just you cost bones, so I can't do it right away. But still good. Could have, of course, kept my Mantis God, too. I guess I should have done that. Doesn't matter. Carry on. Okay. So let's go boom. You're going to play a Ringworm and a Worker Ant. That's fine. And I guess I'll block you with my Pell. Yeah. Still don't know what's the point of the Ringworm. I'll figure it out. Maybe. Oh, God. You have a lot of stuff. Spot off. See, I need you now. Um, so how much health do you have? You have two health. I think this calls for a squirrel. Wait, could I have won that round? I might have been able to win that round. Also, did I get a bone for the pelt dying? Because that's awesome if I did. Great draw. Actually, good go to draw. Um... Yeah, that's actually a really good draw for me. Hype. Keep going. Keep going. This is it. This is it. Adder. Lucastar. Lucastar hits directly. I do need things that hit directly right now. Uh, I could use the Clover. We'll just take it, though. I don't think I've used the Clover once. <laughs> I just... I, I think it just lets me redraw, but I don't see the point in that. Okay, so what can we buff? We could buff Lucastar. We could put the Raven Egg on Lucastar. Okay. I need to get rid of these pelts. <laughs> like ASAP. Um, we could do that. Bone Lord. I don't know. We could just go right again, man. I guess Bone Lord would have been good. Bone Lord would have been better. Ah, I made a mistake. That's alright. Not a big mistake. Stunted wolf. I guess just put a wolf pelt to block the froggo. Have you noticed we're not drawing spot off C now? What the heck? Stout. Okay, I can't play you. That's fine. Oh, you're 3 1. Oh my god. Okay. Lucas Star. Um. Thankfully, that alpha is not in an amazing spot. All right, at this point, let's just draw this. He hits directly, so now I'm hitting for five directly. But he's hitting me for a lot, too, is the problem. Oh, I think I win. I think I win, because I'm just going to hit him directly for too much damage. Yeah, let's see if I draw a spun off C. Lucky draw. Yeah, it is a good draw. Okay. Hype. Good stuff. We have really good cards right now. Rattler? I could do Rattler if only because... Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to kill it anyways, but I need a Squirrel and a Rattler. For whatever that is. No possible sacrifices. Oh. I guess we're done with sacrificing. I should have went left. Yep. Hello again. Okay, so squirrel. Oh, I can't play my rattler. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, okay, well. If at any time's the time to play the, the combo, I think it's going to be this run. Bad play. You be quiet now. So I'm going to try to just stay in it until I get my squirrel rattler combo. And I mean, I should be able to do that by just basically my my wolf plays hits directly, so uh Oh. Again, I don't want to lose though. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll get it back at the angler. I'm not going to throw the game for the stupid picture. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, No, we don't have any more possible sacrifices. We could get... So let's go left for Totem. I don't want to throw the game for the stupid painting. Did I do that? Card counter? 
the value represents equal to the number of I'm assuming the number of cards in my hand um I think I actually want to wait rat king gives me four bones that could be good for the rattler because two let's just redo this rattler I could get two for the mushroom man pronghorn didn't I have a pronghorn Let's get another pronghorn, I guess. I don't need two rattlers. We can give airborne. Well, my wolf already has airborne. Uh, so I guess we'll just get wolves and make my wolves grow stronger after one turn. I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty good to me. I have a lot of good cards right now. I'm a little scared of the sharks. Because again, it's really hard to kill the sharks, but I might think I'll plan to like steal a shark. Okay, so let's... Oh, I did get Lucastar. Although my wolf, is my wolf technically better? No, they're literally the same. Except my Lucas Star can block. Okay, let's play the wolf. Or no, Lucas Star will give me more damage starting out. Plus, he grows into more powerful, so he's actually better. Wait, I might be able to just straight up one shot him. Assuming he doesn't steal my stuff. Alright, let's do what we did last time. We place a squirrel here. He steals it, and then he can't attack me. Oh, unless I just have enough damage. Ah, I'm, I'm always miscounting by one. Go fish. Okay. Oh, wait. My build completely counters the angler, because I hit him directly. Yeah, you're just dead, dude. You're just straight up dead. Bye. See ya. Killed you in two turns. How does that make you feel? Or I guess three. No, two turns? Three turns? Yeah. Oh, he must be salty. Gek. This would grow into one stronger after one turn because it counts for my totem. I like the Gek, though, because he's free. <laughs> the DOS would give me bones. People said this guy is kind of good and I should try him out. Oh, I think this one's just better. I haven't really done him either, so it's fine. All right, let's back up. Oh, hold on. I can't yet. You move past the pond where the angler now lay. Oh, do I, do I like legit just kill him? His body's just in the lake, the pond. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. All right, hype. Uh, I'm going to get up real quick just to have a gander. Do you say anything different now? Feed him once more. That should do it. He has no idea what you should have up your sleeve. Okay. Um, nothing here. I've already done these. No fire. I can get my teeth, which I always forget. Globe doesn't do anything, man. Or does it? Okay, the, the globe doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm just trying to get up to see what I can do. Uh, we can go left to get another death card. I think the rest of my death cards are pretty bad. But maybe we should do it anyways. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Trash garbage, dude. Bell ringer. I don't know what it does, man. Okay. Casey. Casey's pretty good, I suppose. For a one... For a one... I keep saying one mana. For one blood. <laughs> There's room for a creature around the fire. The warmth will enhance its health. Oh, I was hoping it would be power. 
Enhance its health. So who is my blocker? You're my blocker. Stop. I'm sorry. Take one for the team. I'm not risking it again. I'm not risking it again. Only once. All right, we leave with her. Stop. Salutations. Hype. Okay, let's see. Let's assess the situation. Okay, Vulture. Stout, you need to block the Vulture. Vulture OP. But I don't really have that many good cards right now. Could sacrifice him for my Pronghorn. Oh, I'm actually in a kind of bad spot. If I do that, I can play Stinkbug. Yeah, I think we should do that. If only to get the stink bug online right now. Oh, you moved to the... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because you can't actually block. I have two lives right now where I should. Lucastar, okay. How much do you get for three? What's the health at? Okay. Yeah, I still have two lives, so I'm not too scared. Um, how, how much health do I have? One, two, three. So I should be fine if I end for now. Unless the raven ha egg hatches. Or not the e egg hatches, but the raven behind because I'm so dumb. Ah, uh, now we only have one life. Four attack power combined. Three sigils. Let's do three sigils. These cards, the cards this guy gives is usually good. Yeah, I mean, I got so many sigils. When you die, you give four bones. That's actually really good. When you, I get to search for a card which is really good but you cost six bones and i already have one of you that cost six bones you have thorns which i said that good i guess i'll get the porcupine that way i can play stink bug more often i don't do i have duplicates right now no i could get duplicates from him um i think he would just give me a rattler or something dumb though also where's the the pelts dude because I need to I need to get rid of my pelts I guess I'll just go to the left I don't know okay okay but what are we buffing that's the real question we can buff my oh I guess anagram these are three three Let's give it the pronghorn. The pronghorn costs two, which is not great. But now this guy, that guy, if I get him on the board, he literally one shots. So don't forget, we still have the hook too. All right, so they're moving. Let's place that to block. Wish that should be fine. Can I just kill him? Yeah, I think I could just kill him this turn. Salutations. Yeah, all right. Good. We're doing really good. All right, there you are. Hair pelts. Okay, black goat could be nice with what I have. Mantis could be nice. Hitting stuff directly is pretty nice. Let's go with the black goat. That way I can play my expensive cards easy. Wolf pelts. Okay. Okay, okay. A bee is created in your hand, eh? I do like my bees. Unkillable. A car bearing decidual returns to my hand. That's pretty good. Uh, what do you have? Ass spawner. 
I would say we get this guy. I, I, I can only assume this is the power is the number of cards in my hand. And if it doesn't die, I mean, that's good for blocking over and over again. Like, that, I think that sigil is the best sigil in the game. Well, maybe not. I mean, Mantis God kind of OP. All right, bones for the bone god. Do what you must. Put someone else. All right, which is my bad card? I'll be honest, I actually love all of my cards except for the Rattler. The Rattler I wanted to keep for the stupid painting, but at this point, I think this is the run. I don't want to screw myself over. So Rattler, I mean, you're, I guess you're going bye-bye just so that I can play my stink bug more uh, consistently, I suppose. But then that would make my Porcupine useless, right? Because the entire point of my Porcupine is that when he dies, he gives me four bones, and then I would only have... Ah. Let's get rid of the Rattler. I want to make decisions quick, but still. I have a question. Hold on. If I get up, I just sacrifice the Bone God. Isn't he right here? Does that do anything? <laughs> Are you satisfied? Okay. Well, guess not. All right. His, his elks are stinky. Oh, we got spun off. See, look at, look at how easy this is. Boom. And then boom, boom. And turn, win. Damn, dude. That's so good. The fact that you go first in this game is insane. All right. I guess that's how most of these games are, though. Uh, okay, you got duplicates. Grizzly. Uh, I don't think I don't think getting duplicates of this is useful without expensive cards, and the Grizzly's just just too hype. All right, come on, let us buff something. Oh, good. Oh, it's not power; it's health. Damn it. <laughs> Let's buff the health of something with thorns would be nice. Uh, because. Yeah, sharp quails, whatever. Does that make it better at blocking? I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? I guess buff you. Because I want my porcupine to die. That's the whole point. Nah, I'll pull away. Actually, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it would have been good to just keep going. Make it a great card or remove it from my draw, my drawing. Okay, I don't know this boss too well. You took in the familiar sight of the sense of the Trapper's Pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Bro, it's messed up. Okay, let's take a look. Strange frogs. Four strange frogs. And they all block leaping attacks. Something tells me I should play... Uh, this guy. Whoops, this guy, because he's always going to my hand. However, I cannot block the others. Yeah, because now he creates a traps like last time. See, I could risk it for the biscuit, but if I don't draw a free card, I would be kind of in trouble. So I say draw a squirrel. Place a squirrel. Place a porcupine. No, place a stunted wolf. I must trust you. I, I sure hope you do. Okay, so now that dies. But he goes back to my hands, so it's okay. I also got a pelt. <sighs> okay, okay. I still haven't even got one of his yet. <laughs> lucky draw. I actually don't think it was a lucky draw. I think that was an unlucky draw. 
I was hoping for spun off C. So I can block you. How much do I have? If this frog hits me, I die. So I have to sacrifice my... <laughs> I have to sacrifice my wolf as much of it sucks because this guy blocks flyers. I'm sorry. That's the only way to not die this turn. Okay, I can play my stow. But I think I should hold off. Because right now I'm safe. Plus this guy gets more powerful. Yeah, he's just three damage. I strongest squirrel should be fine. So I play. Let's play my stoat first. I think I should play my stoat here. And I should play you here. Okay, this is fine. We just keep doing that over and over again until that dies. I wish I could draw more cards though. I'm saving my angler hook for once I get one of his lives. Fortunately, my guy's gonna, my stoat's gonna die. Unless. Okay. Black goat, okay. Get him for three, get some health. I think we just stock up on cards right now. Okay, you're good. You're very good right now. Just stock up on cards, honestly. Play safe. Okay. Now what happens? Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, hello. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. <gasps> I just clicked for the dialogue. I didn't mean to pick. What did I even click on? Oh, no. Okay. Um. Think, think. Big brain, big brain. Okay, we got Lucastar. He has a wolf, moose, buck, grizzly, great white. Oh, that great white's going to be a problem. I shouldn't kill the pronghorn. <laughs> Even though it's going to kill Lucastar, which is a problem. But it won't kill him for a while. The vulture will be a problem, too. Do you have any bones? You have prong attack. I guess I should put you in there. Oh, but I can't afford you. I should have used the black goat. Okay. Hold on. Think, think, think. If I use eyeball, can I just kill him this turn? Is that how that works? Just in case, I'm gonna, I might use the hook too, but that might make things worse. I have to steal one that actually benefits me. For example, stealing him would actually give me one more damage. But then we'd get... I, I think I just run it, right? That should win based on the scale, but I've never used the eye like that. Okay, it works? Okay, cool. double check oh my god that was that was terrible because i did not pick the the one i wanted to take from him oh look the film effect again one well, these will entice you wait what about my eyeball <laughs> kind of want my eyeball just saying pack rat pack rat might actually be good for what i'm running right now long elk would be even better because i'm, I'm getting so many bones now Yes, thank you. I really would like an eye do eyeball. Any of these other eyeballs special? I mean, I've already gotten this one. 
this one I tried getting. It didn't do anything. Uh, how about this one? Could try all the eyeballs. Choice is final, I guess. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. Ooh, you can see a light in the distance. The end is near. A moment. <gasps> is this it? I think we should go this way. If I can put the death touch on, like, the stink bug. Put the death touch on the stink bug. Oh, they can't do that. I put it on Casey. I mean, that's good. That's pretty hype. Yeah. Okay. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travels. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Wait, I'm the, I'm the peace. Oh. How's that? Oh. I guess I don't have another choice. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with the opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any travelers. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The trial of the Find? Draw, drawn three cards must include a card with Waterborne. I do have a few with Waterborne. Only one needs it, right? The three drawn cards. Oh, wait, no. Maybe all of them do? Must include a rare card. I have a lot of rare cards. Okay, let's think. The The rare cards, I don't... If, if the cards that I created count as rare, the middle one would be best. But I've actually... Sac now that I think about it, I've actually sacrificed a lot of the rare cards for my main cards. So I think Waterborne would be safest. It's on like three of my cards. This is also on like two of my cards. All right, let's see. Okay, I got one. But did I need all three? No, I only need one. Okay, hi. One of the most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. You will start the battle with eight bones? You may draw twice? When you draw from deck, you may choose any card? Okay, actually, all of my cards are good. This seems insanely OP, but I think drawing twice is better because all my cards are good. I'm doing it. Trial of skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt. I don't have a pelt. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Oh, I don't have a ring. How do I get a ring? Wait, look down here. 11 o'clock. Can I get up from the table? Oh, I can't. Sad. The Trial of the Wing. The three drawn cards must include a card with the Airborne Sigil. I guess Airborne. I've got a lot of that. Okay. There we go, right? Success. Hi. You will start the battle with a black goat on the board. Oh, that's good. Oh, I can search. You will start a battle with the Grand Furs on all your spaces. Oh, that sounds terrible. That actually sounds bad. I'm going to take this one. So now I draw twice a turn and I can search for any card I want. Surely I cannot lose whatever this is. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. Yeah, he's never once told me he was impressed. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Oh, uh, no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he doesn't let me leave. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, boyo. Let's just do it. I have no, no anticipation. Just run for with it, I guess. Oh. You're just an old man? With a bunch of twigs and... Oh, my God. To think, all, to think you were something like some mystical being. All right. I guess I'm ready to play, my dude. 
Oh wait, I should have went to the clock. Whatever. Perhaps one more to be safe. <laughs> what? No, oh, no, you little, ah, oh, you little cheater. The stoat said it himself. You like to cheat. Wait, that's a prospector's mask. Angler's mask. The trapper's mask. Okay. All right, let's think. Let's think. Let's think. So he's got a mole. He's got a mantis god. Okay. I don't want him killing my. I think we should put the greater smoke in the middle to kill his mantis god. I do have spun off C. But if I put him here, he's gonna. He won't die, but he'll take quite a bit of damage. Let's just put him there. Oh, but he moves, thank goodness. Okay, he's a 4 4 now. Let's draw a squirrel. Draw that. I want. Uh, where is he? Luke Star, I suppose. Um, I don't want to play all my good cards right away. Because that could be scary. Okay, so my Greater Smoke should kill the Mantis God. He has a 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. Um, I think I should just... I should... What I should play is this. Because if this dies, it goes to my hand. So who cares what happens to it, right? Capably endured the onslaught of the rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. Oh, that's what's happening. All the creatures are rare. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. <gasps> no! YouTube frog, you wouldn't! <laughs> you know what's funny? All of the cards I created that were good are in my hand. These are the bad cards. <laughs> I guess the death touch kind of sucks. It's going to kill Spud off -Z. Sorry, buddy. I think I'm good to just chill. If I just stay with what I have right now, I'll be fine. Plus, the more cards I have in my hand, the more damage I do with this guy. Oh. 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 Well, that's why I didn't play all my good cards. Me. Uh, this guy, I guess. I don't know why I got him. I mean, I'm just gonna play my stupid. Where is he? This guy. I just have. I have so many cards in my hand. It's so so OP. And it just keeps going back to my hand. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. No. No. That is value? Excuse me? The moon? It has mighty leap. Moon strike. A card very decision will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Title lock at the beginning of its owner's turn. A card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels onto into its orbit. Well, you're not a small creature, right? Please tell me. It only has one damage, but it's 40 health. I should be able to kill it. Wait, what about death touch? Don't I have a guy with death touch? Or did I already kill him? I guess now's time for the grizzly. All right. Thank goodness that keeps going back to my hand, though. Just keep getting squirrels for now. Play this. Play this again. Play... I think we should play Lucastar. Yeah, if this card didn't keep coming back to my hand, I think I would actually be in so much trouble. 
I'm so glad I chose it. Okay, so now we play that again. It's getting weaker because I'm using all my cards, though. So do you attack? You attack three times, right? Yeah, okay, good. Wait, I lowered his... I lowered his damage to zero because of the stinky. What is this? Weakening by Moon with the stinky sigil? It makes no sense. Moon's not having a sense of smell. This is how, not how I imagined this battle going. Is that really all I had to do? Bro, it's over. Okay. Tr uh, I, I think I could win, but can I steal? Oh, I can't pull the moon. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. <gasps> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Oh, my. Did I just... I think I just beat him. Oh. Oh. Excuse me? What? Cam works? What? What? <laughs> September 15th? Okay. Uh Hey there card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter and this is another pack opening video. Today I am What is happening? Catch monsters packs and digging for that epic shiny transcend dog. And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you making are are you making fun of me? Is that what's going on? Excuse me. What's going on? <laughs> Also, you didn't put in your visual effects. Every YouTuber comment is going to tell you that, and they're going to make fun of you. Just like when I said I would edit out a pause in a full gameplay, and then everybody pointed out I didn't, and it was just an awkward two minutes of me sitting there. Yeah, that's right. You're going to have to live with that. I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. What? Is, uh, okay. He's opening cards. I, I, already, I like opening cards, I guess. I can't tell what okay. cards they are. It's and not magic, that's for sure. Rare is a Birchkin. I don't know what a Birchkin is. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey. <laughs> Down there at the, uh, the card factory. Catches, but, um, fast forward. This one good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bam Dog. Not exactly riveting. Who so are you? Why are you in my game? Packs to go. Why are you in my inscription game? Next pack, here we come. I heard his voice. I I heard his voice when we if go back to episode one when we first started the game up. I heard this guy's voice. And the little vi video effects throughout the entire game. Are these important? Hey there, card Do I need to watch them all? I'll, I'll watch them all for you guys. Vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of inscription. Oh my God, it's a card game inscription. I believe the deal I got on the board. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. So, fingers crossed. A foil mantis god? There's foils? Excuse me? I want a foil mantis really god. Where's my mantis. foil mantis god, huh? Definitely stands the test of time. Where's my prize for winning? <laughs> Our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. A hey, cool Blue Mage. Card, but not going to be worth very much. That's not a rare. 
see what we got going on in the second pack. Wait, where's the, those are description cards? Huh. You got gypped uh, at your garage sale. This pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That sucked. People do that with Pokemon cards. It's messed Come up. On, people, honestly, who opens and reseals? There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Dude, what? 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 You just get up? So somebody put a set of coordinates on your rare card? Hi, Wait, did guys. I skip one? I'm out here living my best life. Don't tell me Got you went to the coordinates. Trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. What? Hold on. Go, go back. Okay. Skeleton. Flaw attack. I can't read that. Okay. He's at the coordinates. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive... Waste of Excuse me? Okay, I could go frame by frame through this video. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think anything's in this. This is... Oh my god, what right. I'm so confused, you guys. That's I'm very confused. You always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. Okay. Was that, you just, you, that was just his battery dying. What a troll. What a troll game this is. Is this is this actually leading up to something? Is this just the end of the game? Right. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Alright, there's my answer. Uh, and now we dig. We dig. That's not how you dig. That's not that's not how you dig, my dude. Oh, unless it's buried right at the surface. I give a seventy-five percent chance it's a rock, but only one way to find out. It's not just a rock; it's a boulder. Another way around. What is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Well, you should know you probably put it there. The clickbait on YouTube has gone too far. He buried his own cards for a video. The lowest of loam. Inscription. Floppy disk. What? Guys, I mean, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. You're telling me I'm, conf you're confused? I'm confused. You, you went to random coordinates and dug something up. I mean, I guess that's, if you go to random coordinates, you were told there's got to be something there, right? But I, I'm confused. <laughs> Here, I'm watching you go to random coordinates and dig something up. And he starts running. All right. Okay, growing up, we had a DOS computer, and I played... I played so many floppy disk games on it. 
Wow, great video. I played Simat, played Prince Persia. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Boot it up. Okay. Boot it up. Figure out what's on this thing. Wait. That's literally the clip when you first start the game. If you go back to the first episode, when I hit play, that's what you hear. Literally that. Oh, whoops. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Okay. Let's figure it out. Press any button to start. Oh my god, it's the game I just played, and he can't he can't hit new game. He can only hit continue, just like me. Just like me. <laughs> Alright. Uh that's pretty cool. Stop browsing footage, yes. Oh, we're back here. Hello. Mr. Gubadga. I do not celebrate often. I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. You know what? I'm hungry. Give it. Oh. The prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Wait. I, I wanted to eat it. I wanted to eat the mountain of goop. Stand right there. Oh. <gasps> I have, the, I have the film roll. Do I go for it? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Who gave it? He, who gave you that? You're absolutely ingrate. Give it. Oh. Oh my goodness. There he is. I put. You know, honestly. That's karma. That's karma, dude. You put me in a card like six times. I now I put you in a card. What is this room? I guess this is the room in the back. The cab. Yeah. And what are these? I actually can't tell what those are. Oh my God! They're bodies. Or at least the clothes of what used to be bodies. Before they were turned into cards, I guess. There's a bunch of flies, too. Oh. Okay, so wandering around in this cabin, there's nothing. There's nothing at all. Uh, there's a light. There's absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. No. No, that is until the day the scribes arrived. Oh my God. I recognize two of them. The top right's the guy that kill I killed. Bottom left was a stoat. The method of inscription to create cards. Gamora used the quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Lishi used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Yeah, that's the guy that that's the guy that's been tormenting us. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus, Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard's pupils. I recognize Magnificus. Oh my goodness. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Magnificus is, you know, the green glob? That's his master. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Your ambition to replace Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. Hmm. 
Your ambition to replace Leash G and become Scribe of the Beast. Your ambition to replace PO3 and become Scribe of Technology. Replace Magnificus and become Scribe of the Magics. So Leashy is who... Dude. <laughs> I need to take a breather. Hold on. My entire thought process was that we are done with this game once we beat him. This is not the end of the game. This is the start of the game. All of that was a prologue. Or I guess... A, 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 I don't know. Something... I guess not a prologue because it came after, but all of that was leading up to this, which is the game, I guess. Holy bully. Okay, I'm going to choose a starting deck. Uh, I, I, I'm i going to go with the dead. That sounds hype. That sounds that sounds pretty hype. I cannot, I cannot believe what is happening. Oh my goodness, there's an entire map. What is this indeed? All right. <laughs> With that, I'm leaving this episode off here. I know it's kind of a big cliffhanger. I didn't want to leave it off earlier because it would have been way bigger for cliffhanger, but the episode, this is a good stopping point. Holy bully. All right, we will continue this game. This is insane. I love inscription. I love this game. That's is, is insane. Mind blown. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will get the episode out tomorrow. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, buddy.